Welcome to Amazon Open Search YouTube channel. My name is Anidhi Modi and I'm a solutions architect in the AWS public sector team. I enjoy dancing, watching movies and talking about AWS services, especially Amazon Open Search service. In today's video, we'll talk about how cross cluster replication feature works with an Amazon Open Search. So let's get started. Let's talk about cross-cluster replication. With cross-cluster replication, you can replicate user indexes, mappings, and metadata from one open search service domain to another. This feature is useful for use cases regarding data proximity, disaster recovery, and multi-cluster patterns. If there is an outage, it helps to ensure disaster recovery and allows you to replicate data across geographically distinct data centers to reduce latency. It also helps in improving availability and increasing efficiency by optimizing your domain resources for specific workloads. Now, cross-cluster replication follows an active passive replication model where the local or the follower index pulls the data from the remote or the leader index. The leader index refers to the source of the data or the index that you want to replicate data from. Whereas the follower index refers to the target for the data or the index that you want to replicate the data to. Now, please note cross cluster replication is designed to minimize delivery lag between the leader and the follower index. Typical delivery times are less than a minute and you can continuously monitor the replication status via the APIs. Additionally, if you have indices that follow an index pattern, then you can create automatic follow rules and they'll be automatically replicated. Now, before you set up a cross cluster replication, make sure that your domain meets the following requirement. First is to have Elasticsearch 7.10 or OpenSearch 1.1 or latter version. Second, to have the fine grain access control enabled. And third is to have node to node encryption as enabled. Now let's get started with a demo on how to set up cross cluster replication between two domains. So to get started, navigate to Amazon open search service in the AWS management console. And on the left side, you can see the managed clusters. For this demo, we will create two domains in the same region. Navigate to domains under manage cluster, click on create domain. First thing we need to do is name the domain. So we will name the first domain as follower domain and select the easy create domain creation method. Easy create quickly creates an open search domain using multi AZ with standby for high availability. And you can change some configuration options after the domain has been created. Now let's walk over some of the default options here. As you can see, the Amazon Open Search Engine version is 2.13. For network, we have two options, which is VPC access and public access. For this video purpose, we'll select network with public access. Find and access control is enabled, and we'll select the create master user option. And I'll name the master user name as test user, and you can name any other name which you would like, and also give the username a password. So now that I have selected the settings, let's walk over the default settings for easy create domain. So the deployment type is multi AZ with standby in three availability zone with three data nodes, which are of r6g.large type. It also has three master nodes with m6g.large search type. And again, you can always come back and change those settings based on your use case. So once you have summarized and reviewed all the properties, let's go ahead and create the domain. I'll click on create domain and we will follow the same process for the second domain. So once again, from the dashboard, click on create domain and we will name the second domain as leader domain. And again, for this domain, we'll select the domain creation method as easy create, which has engine open search 2.13 with network public access, fine grain access control enabled with master user and give it a username and password. And this domain also has the same default settings as the previous domain. So once you have summarized and reviewed the settings, you can click on create domain.
both the domains would take few minutes to be created so let's just wait uh, while they are being created and then we can move further to next settings so now as you can see both my domains uh, are created and are in active state now that we have created the domains let's create the permission so in order to start replication we must include es cross cluster get permission on the leader domain and we recommend the following im policy on the leader domain this policy also lets you to perform other operations such as indexing documents and performing standard searches and i will also link this document in the description of the video so you can click on copy here and go to leader domain go to security configuration click on edit and under the access policy you can copy and paste the policy uh, make sure that you are replacing the region and account which is in your account and once you have done that you can create save changes. To replicate indexes from one domain to another, we need to set up cross cluster connection between the domains. The easiest way to connect domains is through connection tabs of the domain dashboard. You can also use the configuration API or the AWS CLI. Because cross cluster replication follows a pull method, you initiate connections from the follower domain. So to set up connection in the Amazon Open Search Service Console, select the follower domain. Go to the Connections tab and click on Request Connection. So you can name the connection alias as CCR Demo Connection. For the connection mode, we will select Direct. And the destination cluster would be the leader domain. You can also select a cluster which is in a different account or a different region and specify the ARN in the domain name. So we'll go ahead and select leader domain, which is in the same AWS account and click on request. So now that we have requested, let's go to the leader domain and go to connections. And we will approve this uh, connection request. So as you can see, the status has been changed uh, to approved. So one thing to note about cross-cluster replication is that it supports bi-directional replication. This means that you can create an outbound connection from domain A to domain B and another outbound connection from domain B to domain A. And then you can set up replication so that domain A follows an index in domain B and domain B follows an index in domain A. So after we have established a cross cluster replication, we can begin to start replicating the data. And first thing is to do is create an index on the leader domain to replicate. So for creating an index, we will navigate to Amazon Open Search dashboard. I've already logged into my Amazon Open Search dashboard for the leader domain. On the left side, under management, click on DevTools. We will create an index called leader1 using the put API. As you can see, the index has been created with the put API. Now, to replicate this index, we will send a command to the follower domain, which will create an index called follower1 and start our replication. So for that, I will go ahead and go to the follower domain open search dashboard. Again, under management, click on DevTools and run the following command. I'll replace some of the values here. So I'll replace the value for the index. I'll call it follower one. For the leader alias, replace the connection alias with the connection name, which you have created. So for this demo, uh, I created the name, which is CCR demo connection. So I'll add that name for leader index. I will rename the index to leader one. 
And this example assumes that an admin is issuing the request and uses all access for the leader cluster role and the follower cluster role for simplicity. In production environment, however, we recommend that you create replication users on both the leader and the follower indexes and map them accordingly. So I'll run and start my replication. Now let's confirm uh, what's the status of our replication and if the replication is happening. So for that, I'll run the following get command. And this is basically checking the status of the replication. Now, as you can see, the status here is syncing and the reason is user initiated. So to further validate the replication, let's add a document to the leader index. So I'll again go back to my leader index open search dashboard and add a document. So as you can see, a document has been added and uh, I have added the document here with movie, which is back to future. And now let's confirm and check whether it shows up on the follower index. So as you can see, our index has been replicated here, which is movie back to the future. Now, you can also temporarily pause replication if you need to remediate issues or reduce load on the leader domain. You can send this request to the follower domain. Make sure to include an empty body into your request. So I'll run the request. And now let's check the status of our replication. As you can see, the replication has been paused. And when you're done making the changes, you can resume your replication. So you can send the same request instead of pause. We'll just replace that with resume. Let's check the status again. And as you can see that it has been initiated. So for a deeper dive into the cross cluster replication within Amazon open search, please do check out a documentation, which is linked in the video description. That's all for the video. I hope this helped in bringing clarity in how cross cluster replication feature works with an Amazon open search service. Thank you for your time and have a great day.